I want to put out our social media question today. Um, and it's on a topic, uh, well, really, it's come to light more so because of the author, J.K. Rowling. Actually, do we need to say author? I think we all know who J.K. Rowling is. I think, we know who Rowling. I think Rowling we've heard is, of J.K. Yes. Rowling. Yeah. Um, she has slammed the media. Um, for, in particular, it was Sky News, but it's all, it's across the media, and yes, Talk TV does it as well, uh, for calling the cat killer murderer, Scarlett Blake, a woman, when he, he is a trans-identifying man. He is biologically a man, born a man, you remain a man your entire life. He identifies as if he is a trans woman, doesn't make him a woman, it makes him a trans woman, i.e. a man. Um, he is in the news for the most appalling, awful, horrific murder <laughs> Put a cat in a blender, yeah. inspired of Judge Believes. But live on live stream. But, yeah, but, uh, Believes uh, as, a, 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 as a Netflix uh, story. But Scarlett Blake, the name that this man has adopted, um, then live stream torturing and killing say, a cat before going on to murder a complete stranger, just found in the street, Jorge Martin Carreno, as he walked home from a night out in Oxford in July 2021. Um, and, um, and basically, it's been reported, you know, this, this is what the, the Sky News report, but no different to any of the other media. A woman has been found guilty of murdering an individual in Oxford months after she filmed herself killing a cat. So that's wrong, isn't it? It's a man found guilty of murdering an individual in Oxford months after he filmed himself killing a cat. That's the... Now, Harry Potter author of J.K. Rowling um, just wrote on, on Twitter, I'm so sick of this beep. This is not a woman. These are not our crimes. Now, she's been making this point for a long time. If you want to live as a trans woman, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't make you a woman. It gives you access to women's safe spaces. Like, for instance, wh where will this man be put in prison? Some people already calling for him to be allowed into a woman's prison because he identifies as a woman, even though he's clearly a danger to everybody, but particularly women, one would suggest. Um, but also the idea that there are a huge spate of crimes now being committed, apparently sadistic, violent, even sex crimes, even rapes and sex assaults by women when actually they're being committed by men who then say they identify as women. And bearing in mind that the latest stats, of course, are the UK prison service, uh, including England, Wales and Scotland, um, the mainland Britain, show that 70% of male prisoners who identify as trans have convictions for sex crimes or, or violent violence. crimes. Yep. Is JK Rowling right, is the question I'm asking today. Simply yes. No, well, done. Oh. It's not yeah, that complicated, it's not, it? it's not complicated is at it all. Is it transphobic for her to say this? No, not at all. You know, it doesn't matter how someone identifies, and whatever way they identify, respect that um, uh, 100%. Respect it in what way? Um, if someone identifies as a woman, you will respect that that is what they want to do. But it doesn't change the biological fact, as you say. It doesn't change how their hormones are working. It doesn't change how their brain is. It doesn't change how their testosterone levels are. Uh, that has to be art artificially altered. But it, even treatment. then, you can't alter it to a level of a woman's anyway. Correct. But the key thing is, you are, you are still biologically a man, end of, full... Yeah. full and these crimes, the, vi the instance of violence crimes and, of course, sex crimes by men is hugely higher than by women. Yeah. Because they're men, these crimes, like this, committed by a man, should be called out. Does the media have a duty, and I'd say this across the media world, that this is happening, to actually report things accurately? So we don't say, for instance, um, she used her penis and things like that. I mean, can we stop the, the, this madness? The, the, the media has a huge duty. Um to report things accurately because it needs to recognise that it doesn't just inform, it influences. Mm -hmm. And when it uses pronouns in that sort of way, you know, A, you're going to confuse young children who have just been taught basics, yep. basics of biology, but, but it influences in a way that is disproportionate to the argument yeah. that there is underneath. And the duty, I would say, of the courts, the police. We've yeah. had cases where women have actually been required when talking about the man who was alleged to have assaulted them yeah. sexually to refer to them as she and her and her penis. It's totally unacceptable. And, you know, I, I think, as you, as you said um, be before we started, you know, the English definition of rape means that a woman should can, not can, be able to biologically no, can, rape... Cannot, a, because it involves a, man, involves a penis. And women don't have penises. You can call yourself a woman. You, you don't have a penis. You, you're a man. Um, sorry for all the, the graphic language at this time, but uh, JK, we stand with you 100% on this. Going to be talking uh, to Kelly J. Keane about this in just a few moments as well. But uh, do get in touch. I want to hear from you. I have a funny feeling you might have something to say about this. <laughs> Feel free to call me a transphobe. I don't care anymore. I know I'm not. I have no hatred or disrespect or lack of, you know, kindness towards anybody who believes they've been born in the wrong body. 
that's their decision, what they want to choose to live their life, except when it impinges on other women and it impinges particularly on our children uh, with the, the trans ideology in our schools. But also, lies in the public sphere, lying about who has committed a crime, media needs to stop doing that.